Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can integrate Google Map in .NET 6 Blazor Server project. So here I have already created a Blazor Server app uh, default template I have selected. So in this in this web route, we are going to add a script file. So let's add that. Uh, let's name it as script.js and a reference to the script we are going to add in this host.cshtml file so let's add the reference so we're going to add a head tag over here and inside this you're going to add the script reference apart from this for adding a google map we'll have to get a key so we can search on google uh, google map key and we'll be getting this developers.google.com if we open this link we get using api keys so here if we scroll down we'll get this adding api key to your request we will get this kind of uh, script so we'll be copying the script and pasting it in our host.cshtml file so here <coughs> we have the script.js and we have a reference to that google map apis and in in the key section you can enter your key and callback will be init map and few libraries section we can include for places and weather so this is a simple script pointing to google apis fine now we'll go to this index.html page and here we'll be removing this default content And we are going to inject the JS runtime. Fine. And in this coding section, we are going to add a code section. And here we are going to add few styles. and to display the map we're going to add a div so here i've added a simple map with a height and a width fine now in our uh, we'll be creating one method for after rendered so here i've created this method Uh, on after render async bool, boolean first render for the first time we are going to render this invoke void async and call the initialize method so here we are going to copy this and put it here as a variable so we have this js runtime over here and that same js runtime we are going to use to invoke the javascript now <coughs> inside this div tag we have to populate our map on this index.razor page so to do that we have to go in the script.js file and add a simple function we are going to declare a map and here if we see in this index.razor we are invoking a function with the name initialize so that we have to include it here so here i am simply pasting one script it's a single simple script where we get the land latitude and longitude this is the latitude and longitude these are the default one whatever we are adding here that will get populated when the map is loaded for the first time then we have few options like what is the zoom what is the center and the map type id and then in this map variable we are going to add a create a new variable of google.maps.map and going to get the element which we have created here this div id equal to map and that and in the options we are going to pass all the options like what is the zoom what is the center and what is the map type okay so this is a simple map so let's run it and see how it goes So here you can see we have populated the map on this 
screen. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add a search box over here and whatever we search on the map in the search box that same thing is going to populate in the map. So let's add a search box just above the map ID. So here I am adding a simple div with a width and class container. Inside that I have a row and inside that I have a div with a class column SM12 BTN group and then I have few padding and alignment. So the main thing is this input ID. This is the text box name. Then we have the class search box and then we have the placeholder. So this search box is a CSS class which you are going to create right here. So here in this search box we have added this few CSS properties like background color, padding, height, width. You can change it according to your need and that class we have applied it here. So let's run it and see how it appears. So here we have the search box. If I search anything, it doesn't show any suggestion or nothing else. So we'll have to bind this search box to our Google map. So let's go in this script.js file and here we'll have to write the code to bind the text box. So here if you see we are getting this the input text box using document.get element by id pac input. Then we have the search box. So we are creating a new google map dot places search box input and passing the input text box. Then what we are doing is we are adding an event listener. Okay, so whenever anything is typed in the search box, there, there is some event which needs to be fired. So we are adding that event listener. So google.maps.event.add event listener and we are binding that event listener to the search box and we are named it as places changed. Then we have a function inside that and we are getting all the places. If the length is zero, then return. If the length is not zero, then whatever places are there, uh, whatever user has searched. Uh, so we are looping through those places and getting the bounds that means the latitude and longitude of that place and then we are looping it. So here I have the image, places icon and all these things. Then we have a marker. So we are getting google.maps.marker and then in the markers we are in these markers what we have created here marker array. In that we are pushing the mark and just extending the boundary with the places.geometry and in that map we are just passing these bounds whatever latitude longitude we are getting that we are passing to the map variable which we have used here also this map which we have declared it as a global variable so this is a simple function which shows to get the uh, search uh, whatever we have to get the search latitude longitude and simply uh, put it on the map display it on the map so let's run it Okay, so with again the map is loaded. Let's try to search something. Okay, so now, uh, now I have the search suggestion from coming from Google map and let's Okay, so whatever I'm searching it here and clicking on it that same thing is has been like Displayed here in the below Google map So this was it a simple tutorial showing how to bind a Google map on .NET Blazor server and how we can integrate the search box and display what is being searched in the text box. So that was it for today. See you in the next video. If you like this video, you can subscribe. And if you have any doubt, you can simply drop a comment. Thanks for watching.